happening. Today's the day. We're signing off of Explore after over seven months on board. It's gonna be a long day. <laughs> My flight's not till six o'clock this evening and we have to sign off at 9.45. So travel day is always stressful and typically never smooth for me. So fingers crossed that we don't have any issues and everything goes well, but my bags are so heavy. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be fun to deal with. But yeah, we gotta get out of this room. We've emptied everything, obviously. We have to be out of here by eight. We're gonna get out of here, probably drop our stuff at Studio B and then have breakfast until it's time to meet. That's it, curtain closed. <laughs> I had to come for one last look. Bye, Studio B. Signing the wall! You'll have to write for Toby as well. This is your third time here? or Yeah, third, third time. time. We're not on the, the first time here. signing, so... Do you want to put, like, how many times we've been? Third time? Oh, oh yeah. Wait, which year was it? Yeah, Graham had, like, a bunch of things. This is it! Sign of the We're happy to be here. Out of seven months. <laughs> Waiting to leave. And then we're in the sign off mood. Yeah, because they're in the garbage. They're dirty, but they're like the comfiest shoes I've ever had. Now we're into the trash. We still haven't left the terminal. We haven't even gone through customs yet. I don't know what's going on. No idea. It's almost lunchtime. And I haven't had but a coffee there's yet. No, but there's no lunch. <laughs> there's no snacks in this line. There's only one leg to bite. <laughs> <laughs> Snack. Snack. It's so red. Why oh, can't you open it? Holy shit. <laughs> I swear this is not all of mine. This is Susie's too. already so exhausting. It is one o'clock and I just went to drop my bags hoping that they would let me drop one a little bit early but they're not letting me. We're up on like the arrival area and there's these really uncomfortable benches to sit on. There's nothing to eat, nothing to drink and we can't go anywhere until we drop our bags. So we're just here and we haven't had coffee yet today so we're struggling a little bit but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. obviously but I am through security now the line was super long I managed to make it through in probably under 30 minutes which is pretty good and now I have probably like two hours until my flight so I'm gonna head to the lounge and hopefully have a coffee and like something small to eat because all we had today was the Doritos that we shared so here's my little late afternoon lunch airport 
before, but not this lounge. This one's so much bigger and so much nicer. And I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Unfortunately, I don't have as much time as I hope, but, but it's okay. close to finishing my book so maybe I'll finish it before falling asleep when I get home but gotta get my luggage first and then meet my mom it's so funny because I'm literally never home I don't know what my parents car looks like like they got a new car maybe six months ago maybe longer than that but I never remember what it looks like so much thanks dad for the balloons thanks mom for picking me up <laughs> I missed you so much I sure did me too, mom. I can't get over your little face dinner at 1 30 in the morning this vibe right now is everything and Coco has assumed her position I can't even express to you how tired I am today was such a long day and I'm so thankful that it was a smooth travel day but still exhausting well last night I was so exhausted the second that my head hit the pillow I was out I had the intention of maybe finishing my book but that clearly did not happen so maybe I'll do that today that's how I can start the morning yesterday's travel day was actually so smooth and I 100% believe that my grandma is the reason why the previous travel day I had she was watching over me and I had a smooth travel day. Today, or yesterday I should say, was also extremely smooth. Despite it being a long day, everything went very well. I really lucked out with my luggage. Unfortunately, both of my suitcases were overweight, like a significant amount, but the guy was super sweet and helped me out. So I only ended up paying for one of them, which was so great. I kind of went into it just accepting that I was gonna drop a lot of money on those bags but there were like full-size products in there that I was sent and a bunch of other things that I didn't want to part with and I thought it'd be worth it to just bring them home but the guy was a he was a gem and he helped me out and then yeah from there on out everything was smooth flights were easy it was a long day but I am very very happy to be home to have woken up with Coco I've got the house to myself this morning because my dad is still in Florida for work and my mom just went to the rink to coach. So plans for today are probably just readjusting to being back. I want to unpack my stuff. I want to maybe, you know, do a Pilates video or some other kind of movement and kind of get myself sorted. I might need to do a little bit of editing, but it's going to be a chill day. Book 
number 12 of the year, I think I just finished. I just read Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell. So good. This one wasn't quite as captivating to me as some of her other books that I've read. I did really enjoy it still. It was a good read, but it did take me a little bit longer. I do think part of that is because I've just been so busy the last probably week or so, so I haven't found much time to read. I think I want to read something a little bit lighter next, something with a rom-com kind of vibe. And it's about nine o'clock, so I think it's time for a little bite for breakfast. better than cooking for yourself after literally months and months of not being able to do that. Also having fresh eggs, there's nothing like it. And having it actually be hot, groundbreaking. I've changed. I want to get a workout in like I said, but I think I need to tackle some of my unpacking first because I have a lot to put away and the faster I do that, the better I'm going to feel. I'm going to start with this one. My body is so sore from my bags from traveling yesterday. You have no idea. Like my neck and my shoulders are just knotted. Girl. ready for the day it's quite a gloomy day outside it was raining this morning now it seems like the rain has stopped so I'm wearing a very spring outfit I just have a pair of jeans on this belt to match this princess poly top and my cute little guest bag my mom needs to get her oil changed so I've got to go pick her up at the place and then I want to run to Aldi and maybe Target so I want to get a couple essentials for the week I am leaving again on Saturday for New York City and then from there I'm going to Europe so I don't want to buy too too much but I definitely want to have some fruits and veggies for the week and then a couple other things for cooking the first time driving after a contract is always so strange when I was home in December I drove so I don't feel that weird. Usually it's like eight months that you go without driving and then you, you don't forget, obviously. It just, it's like riding a bike. gotten myself a medium. The mediums are massive at Tim Hortons. Yes. Medium iced coffee with oat milk and vanilla. But it, in Canada, Tim Hortons coffees, mm, if you order good. a medium, it's like a small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's... And their small is like a shot. We got a good amount of things at Aldi. I love Aldi. It's so affordable and it's nice and small so you don't spend much time in there. Anyways, I enjoy browsing grocery stores, but that's just me because I live on a ship. Our grocery haul ended up being a little bit bigger than I anticipated, but mom wanted to grab a couple things as well. So we got some almond milk, yogurt, salsa, corn, blue cheese and feta, peppers, cherry tomatoes, strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, pine nut hummus, cheese, frozen broccoli, pretzels, couscous, some bread. We got chicken breast and patties. Those won't be for me, but K-Pods, salad avocado and some apples. I've just made a very colorful lunch. I'm so excited about this. I've made my, oh my gosh, I forgot cucumber. 
I was like, I'm missing it's something so from this, but I need to add cucumbers. That's what I'm forgetting. There we go, that's better. It's been a couple hours, it is now time for dinner. I spent a few hours editing on the couch and I actually took a little cat nap with my mom for like 45 minutes, but I have just freshened up and we are going out to dinner. We're gonna go to Cheesecake Factory because she's got a little gift card and I actually love their menu. So this is the outfit for the day. I have a matching little bag and then I have some little like kitten heels on and the lip I just threw on is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Dusty Rose. I think it's a cute look. I'm gonna throw on my brown bomber jacket over top and then we will be ready for dinner. Dinner time. Show us the fit. Ooh, little reveal. <laughs> just received some new selects from Halara and I wanted to share them with you guys because I love Halara so much. I live in all of their active wear. You guys know I've worked with them a bunch of times before and I'm so excited to be working with them again today. So I have a little mini haul that I want to show you all the items that I got for the spring season coming up. The first two items being what I am wearing today. This top I already own in like four or five colors and it is just so good. I like this top a lot because it does have a double strap so you can wear it separately or together, whatever you prefer. From the front, it looks like a pretty basic crop top, but the back is the showstopper. It has a very low back with a gorgeous twist detail. Absolutely love this top. And then I have paired it with these like navy blue jogger pants. I will have everything linked below. These are the pants. They're so comfortable. I've actually never owned a pair of joggers from Halara. These are my first pair and they are super, super flattering. I love how, how wasted they are. They've got a drawstring at the waist so you can kind of cinch this waistband if you'd like. When I saw this little jacket top on the website, I was super intrigued. So I decided to pick it up. What I like so much about this top is that it is a zip, but it's a double zip. So you can open it at the top and at the bottom and I think that it makes for a very very flattering top once again the material is just so nice so soft and very very form-fitting to your body like I feel like it hugs me in all the right places what better time than with spring approaching to get some fun bright colors I absolutely love both of these pieces individually but I think they look super super cute together both of these items, again, I already own in multiple colors. So I decided to get this top in this really fun, like, Barbie pink. 
And this is what the back looks like. It's got a really fun open back design as well. For the leggings, this periwinkle purple situation is everything. I don't own a pair of leggings in this color and I just think they're so fun. These specific leggings are so buttery soft. They are one of my favorite leggings that I have. They are the perfect length on me. They do have a little side pocket and this super flattering waistband. So it's kind of like a crossover V. I have been loving the red trend lately. I know it's been around for a while now, but I decided to pick up these really fun cherry red leggings. These leggings are extremely high-waisted, which I really like, and they have this tummy control panel is what they call it. So it just sucks everything in and keeps you very supportive. I always gravitate towards a 7 8 crop just because I know they will fit me like a full length legging. Once again, they fit me beautifully in the bum and the legs. There's pockets again on the sides and I've just paired it with this white sports bra from their website. Once again, removable pads. This is super comfortable. I love wearing this sports bra as a workout top. Of course, you can wear it under something, but I think that it looks great on its own. And the sports bra has this fun little crisscross detail with the straps on. Last but not least, I have a little biker shorts outfit. So these biker shorts I own in black and also like a leopard print. And I honestly live in them on the ship. They are the easiest thing to throw on with an oversized sweatshirt or even just going for my little hot girl walk on the jogging track. So I love my biker shorts and these are once again so incredibly soft and comfortable and for me this length is absolutely perfect. I don't like when biker shorts are too too long because I am already short. We don't need to accentuate that. These are my all-time favorite biker shorts and then I have another color of that first little workout top that I showed you. So I decided to get it in this really fun, bright coral color. Those are all the pieces I got from Polara. Like I said, I will have them linked in the description box for you. And I do have a personal code that will save you some money. So make sure to head to Halara.com and use my personal discount code to save you some money. I've just written out my to-do list and clearly I've got a lot to do. I have to post some stories. Those are on the next page and a lot of editing and admin work. A couple of things I have to shoot as well. It's gonna be a very productive day. Mom is at work, dad's still not home from his work trip, but he should be here tonight. And it has started to snow, classic Buffalo. March 10th and the puffer coat is going back on. March honestly is still winter in Buffalo, let's be real. It's when it gets to May and it's snowing, that's when I'm gonna have an issue. <laughs> but I'm headed to Jessica's house. I'm gonna catch up with her for a little bit. Probably won't stay long because the snow is it's picking up. We now have a layer of snow on the floor. On the floor, on the ground, my goodness. I love you. I'll see you in a little bit, okay? back home. I've made a little yogurt parfait and mom is watching a simple favor. Get in the bath, Coco. I'm so happy she looks. <laughs> she ain't this. Oh. But she's standing nice and still. It's okay, Bean. It'll be over yeah. soon. Yeah.
It's still snowing outside. <laughs> if you've made it to the end of this vlog, congrats. It is pushing 1.15. I need to get to bed. I was this close to panicking because I could not find the memory card with the footage from the last two days of the contract. So as I was editing, I was scrambling to find it. But the good news is I found it. So I've been finishing the vlog so that I can go live in the morning. But because of that, it's quite late now. So I am going to head to bed. I'm going to read my book for like five minutes and then pass out because tomorrow I have some exciting plans. So thank you all for watching. I love you to the moon and back and I'll see you in the next one.